When defining sin, this is ultimately the intentional and or unintentional act of disobeying God. To do this removes us out of God's holy standard and the ultimate price can only be covered through Christ's blood. Those who are not familiar with the Bible sometimes have the perception that Christians believe they are superior to everyone else. Those who know what the Bible says about sin knows that works are not what gets a person saved. An example after example in scripture shows that there are not just unbelievers doing wrong, but God-fearing men and women who repented and served the Lord. Take these figures into consideration. Noah had been drunk. God used him to build the ark. Abraham lied at times in fear and doubted with Sarah about the child of promise, yet became the father of many nations. Jacob deceived his father for Esau's birthright. He served the Lord and raised 12 sons who became the tribes of Israel. Moses made excuses, stuttered, and disobeyed God's command to speak to the rock, yet led the Israelites out of slavery from Egypt and served the Lord in the wilderness with his people for 40 years. Rahab was a prostitute in Jericho, yet saved the Israelite spies at risk of her own life and was spared when the Jews had received victory over the city. David had an affair with a married woman, but had slayed Goliath and brought prosperity and wonder to Israel as their anointed king. Jonah ran away from God but had delivered the message of the Lord that spared Nineveh, although he hated doing it. Peter had cursed and swore, and denied Christ three times before Christ's crucifixion, who afterward was one of the apostles that taught the Gospels to the world. Paul had even killed early Christians. Yet the Lord presented himself to him, and he ended up writing the majority of the New Testament epistles, proclaiming Christ as Lord. If the reason why you have not given your life to Christ is because you believe you need to be perfect, that's a lie. By following Christ, you will still be a sinner, but in understanding the debt he paid for you, good works will follow with a change and repented heart. You'll never be perfect, and that's the point of having a savior who is. Romans 3 verse 23 to 26. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God, being justified freely by his grace through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus, whom God hath set forth to be a propitiation through faith in his blood, to declare his righteousness for the remission of sins that are past, through the forbearance of God, to declare, I say, at this time his righteousness, that he might be just and the justifier of him which believeth in Jesus.